Good morning, Capricorn, and happy Mother's Day. It's your girl, Raven, the Triple P, the Rainbow Bright. You know what time it is. <laughs> How are you guys doing on this lovely morning? I certainly hope that you guys are having a great Mother's Day. Please love and hug on your mothers for me, all right? All right, so let me explain the reading, all right? This reading will be for the sign of Capricorn, If like I've said it 15 times before, right? <laughs> you may not even be a Capricorn. You could just have it somewhere in your chart, and therefore the messages that I read for you could still resonate for you a bit. I just ask that you take what resonates, leave out what does not, and please, by all means, enjoy the reading god bless you guys so much for all the love and support for the channel thank you for subscribing thank you guys for returning and watching me all right capricorn so let's get into your reading let's see what's going on for you holy spirit can you please tune me into the collective frequency of capricorn what are the messages here from my lovely water i mean not water bender goodness gracious earth bender i don't know why i called you water benders maybe it has something to do with emotions i don't know Holy Spirit, please tune me into the collective frequency of Capricorn. Please tune me into their earthbender energy. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Okay. Jeez. Okay, Capricorn. Well, we got making some major changes. Okay, so there's some major changes going on here. Okay. Um, what else here for Capricorn, Holy Spirit? All right. Stolen goods may be involved in this for your love so you may be making some major changes for your love life this could involve some stolen goods or something you feel like was taken from you you know intangibly what else catfish okay so we're dealing with a catfish here okay so there might be a, a deceptive energy here someone who was wearing a mask that may have been stealing something um they may have dealt with an undercover cop maybe what else here for capricorn Okay, Capricorn, you are a superstar. Okay, that's, come on now, you guys know this, okay? Um, petty theft, okay? So someone was being petty and they wanted to steal from you because you're a superstar? What else here for Capricorn? Hold on, one, two, three, four. Okay. Ooh. This may very well involve the dark web. All right, Capricorn, so. <laughs> Lord have mercy, okay? So, let me just take in this energy for a second, okay. We got some major changes going on here. Something was stolen. Somebody was deceiving you. Um, someone here may have dealt with an undercover cop. There's some, somebody was being really petty and they were involved in the dark web because you're a superstar. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so let's get into the cards and see what's, what's going on with that. Okay, Holy Spirit, for my lovely Capricorn energies here, can you please clarify making major changes? What is that here for Capricorn? See what that's about. Withdrawal, quit awakening rejection. So maybe you're having an awakening about an issue that's going on. Maybe you're rejecting somebody. You're quitting something. You could be quitting smoking. You know what I'm saying? Because he's breaking a cigarette in half. You know what I'm saying? So you may have decided to stop smoking or you're quitting something here. Somebody wants to apologize or someone wants to confess their guilt. So this could talk about you making major changes because you're breaking up with somebody after they've confessed their guilt to you. Because maybe you're protecting your peace here with the calm card. Yeah, someone here may want to compromise and overcome a challenge with you or something like that. What else is making some major changes? Someone may have broken away from somebody because they want to, um, I don't know, like someone's breaking away from somebody for something homeless. I'm telling you, somebody's out in the cold. Somebody is breaking away from something or somebody mask. There goes the deception. Somebody here was wearing a mask. They were doing something they shouldn't have been doing. This could be the energy of that person feeling sorry and wanting to make changes to step into peace now after they've done something foolish. Or this could talk about you. You know, making some major changes after having an awakening and really realizing that you really want a life of peace and you, you know, some, and you want to cut off somebody maybe that's wearing a mask that, want, that, that wants you to be out in the cold. I don't know. Something weird. Okay. Um, let me go on here, Capricorn. And don't worry, I'll get into the tarot. We'll get to the backstory, okay? Okay. Yeah, somebody here, um, maybe they want to repair the connection with the maintenance card here. I don't know. Or this can involve a car. 
Holy Spirit, can you clarify the stolen goods? What is that about for Capricorn? Okay, care. So somebody that you may have given a lot of support or care to, maybe they um, stole some goods or someone here was stealing from your support system or something. Something unpleasant happened with the Fury card here. Somebody's mad at the support you get. Maybe they feel stolen from and they're protesting it. Maybe somebody is mad and they're protesting a soulmate connection here because you get a lot of care and support and there's some sort of stability that comes with it. I don't know. What else here with the stolen goods? Somebody might be going to court for this. Justice. You're going to get some truth, some clarity, um, something about this. What's the justice about? Right and disturbance. And the ideal of it. Someone here may have been using magic to steal from you. Someone here may have been using, um, may have done a ceremony to create a disturbance. Or there's going to be truth and clarity because somebody stole from you. And this may have been unclear, the circumstances of it. Like you're about to get, like things are about to be cleared out. When it comes to this disturbance and this mystery that's behind it. Because the right card can be a mystery too. It doesn't have to be magic. The idea card is here. So someone here who gets a lot of support or gives support to others that you care for. They're receiving justice. Because someone here may have been using magic to create a disturbance. Or someone here was doing something mysterious you know, to create a disturbance here. Hmm. They may have been using divination or magic to steal from you. Yeah, someone's afraid now. Or they're depressed or they're paranoid about something. Someone that you gave a lot of support to. You're about to receive the truth about them being a disturbance and what they were doing with magic. And now they're depressed and paranoid about it or something. Yeah, maybe this is going on behind your back. Maybe this is unknown to you with the blind card here. Maybe you didn't know this was going on. Hold on one second. I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, let me get back to it. Okay. So that was, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> As I was saying, Capricorn, okay. You're, we're dealing with an energy here who may have stolen from you one way or the other. Maybe someone here that you gave a lot of support to. They're receiving justice for this, okay. Um, Someone here, they really involved themselves in something very, very shady. All right, um, let me go to the superstar energy. Holy Spirit, can you clarify? Well, hold on. Um, can you clarify superstar here for Capricorn? Okay, we got nightmare, suffering, darkness, persecution. Someone may have wanted you to feel that way. Or maybe you're a superstar because you came out of depression or came out of a nightmare or something like that. What's the nightmare about with superstar? Yeah, somebody here may have been strategizing against you. Here go the strategy card. You are a superstar. Star seed energy. Okay, Capricorn, check it. Someone here sees that you get a lot of attention. You're a star to show. And they want to persecute you. They want they want you to suffer in darkness. They want you to be sick. They want to create challenges for you. That's crazy. What else with the superstar? Okay, this could be someone you were friends with or someone that you were in some sort of a connection or a network or a team with. What's the friendship? I'm telling you, somebody here was, uh, the curse card is here, Kate, hate, catastrophe, misfortune. Somebody here wanted to set, like wanted to create, um, somebody here was hating on you and your friend group. This is a hater in your friend group and your community or something. Somebody here hates how, how you're, how you're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like your dreams are coming true. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Somebody here, they, they, they're, they're a hater. Someone here may have been doing something to cause a catastrophe. They may have been throwing a curse if they were using divination or magic. But somebody was definitely strategizing to create a nightmare for you when it came to who you're connected to by creating misfortune. Okay. 
All right, um, so check it here, Capricorn. I'm going to call out some angel numbers, okay? Well, these could be angel numbers, numerology, or gematria if you're into that. Um, I may also call out birthdays, phone numbers, and birthdays. Just take the energy how it resonates here. But I have um, 6071-1453-243-1157-1862-9-7572-4840. Okay. All right. Let me go on here, Capricorn. Let me go on with this. So let's get into the dark web energy. Holy Spirit, can you clarify the dark web energy here for Capricorn? What's going on with this? Hmm. The accident cart. The accident card, the keywords are danger, caution, injury. Capricorn, somebody went on the dark web seeking to cause danger or to injure you or create an accident. They bring caution with the dark web. What else with the dark web and the accident? What was the accident? Live and learns in the reverse. Somebody here could have been refusing to learn a lesson. When it came to the dark web or something like that, or somebody was using the dark web to learn how to hurt you. What? Fate and bullies here. Um, fate is like a fortune teller card. You may be a tarot reader. You don't have to be. Uh, may have, This may involve a reading or something. Someone here may have gone to the dark web to um, maybe find a karmic tarot reader to find out a way to hurt you. To find a way to bully you, um, to embarrass you, to gossip about you, maybe? Is that what I'm seeing here, Capricorn? Mm. 1627 <clears throat> Someone here was vowing to hurt you. They were wishing, hoping, or, or, you know, they were worshiping. I mean, like, somebody here really wanted to see you hurt. Someone here got on the dark web, and they may have, like, done some sort of, went to, like, a dark high priestess or something online, and, like, maybe had them look up your Akashic records or something, or just find, look you up in general in the 5D to see how they can best you, how they can hurt you, how they can gossip about you. Okay, let me move on here. Um, Holy Spirit, can you clarify dealt with an undercover cop or agent? All right, so let's see what that's about. <sighs> Capricorn, natural disaster. I'm not making this shit up, yo. Somebody dealt with an undercover cop online, maybe on the dark web. And now they're that now they're uh, frustrated, or someone here is realizing that they've put themselves in the middle of a natural disaster, a real storm. What's the natural disaster about? Oh my God, that's crazy! Hold on. All right, we got the evidence card, investigation, detection, proof. Okay. Somebody dealt with an undercover copper agent and now they're being investigated. Now, maybe the investigators now have proof. Maybe this has something to do with a car, with the maintenance card here, because they're working on a car. So maybe an investigation went down around maybe a stolen car or maybe somebody tampering with somebody's car so that they would be hurt. Um, oh, jeez. Holy Spirit, what's the evidence? Oh my goodness. Inducement. Persuasion, bribe, temptation. Someone here may have dealt with a cop online. They may have tried to bribe this cop into doing something foolish. Oh my God. What's the um, inducement, please, for Capricorn? You're going to receive some sort of confirmation or assurance or something about a promise? What's the inducement? And they made them promise. They, I don't know. <clears throat> to stop a promise. To stop an engagement. The stop card is here. Um, like blocking somebody out. Break, pause, stagnation. Somebody here dealt with an undercover cop. They, or, they, or they dealt with somebody they should not have dealt with. That, that it, you know, it's not trustworthy one way or the other. Anyway, my point though. 
is they dealt with somebody and they dealt with an undercover agent or a cop here. They bribed or attempted a cop to stop or block you somehow from getting what it is that you absolutely wanted to have. Someone here paid a undercover cop. Um, they didn't know this cop was undercover, obviously, but someone here paid a cop here to stop or block you from getting what it is that you deserve, your abundance. Okay, we got treasure here. We got reservation, which is desire, your worth, your extravagance. And then good news. So someone here paid um, an undercover agent online or something like that to block or stop your blessings here, Capricorn. I'm not, this is insane. And it just started raining really, really hard when I said that, too. It's raining today. You're going to receive some sort of communication about this. Someone here may have born in 83. Someone here can be 55 or 38. Someone here may have been born in 80. 12, 29. Someone here could have been born on December the 29th. Someone here could have been born October 9th, October 11th, October 3rd, October 19th. Your spirit team wants you to know that there's going to be victory over this enemy. Triumph in the third wheel is here, Capricorn. Okay, you're going to have victory over this enemy, this third party situation, or just somebody that's distrustful. You're going to have victory. This is crazy. Holy Spirit, can you clarify the catfish, please? Someone was in their imagination or someone was fantasizing. Um, we're in, I mean, I mean, that's the catfish energy is a deceptive energy. Like somebody pretend to be something they're not. So somebody here was fantasizing or creating a, um, an illusion or some, somebody was in their imagination about creating a catfish or something. What's the imagination about? Yeah, enemy. Third wheel. There we go. The car popped right back out. Somebody that, was, that you're in a third party situation with that's an enemy that's distrustful. They got in their mind and created a fake account to become a catfish because they wanted to stress out a freaking soulmate connection Capricorn. Someone here may have catfished your person to distract them from coming towards you or to block a love offer. You're going to find out that someone here was collaborating to create challenges for you and this person. Collaboration, perseverance, and sweetheart. Let me move on here. Um, Holy Spirit, what's the petty theft about for Capricorn? All right, somebody had an idea to victimize or trap you here. This is Capricorn, honeys. Oh my God, trap an idea. <laughs> the petty theft. Somebody had an idea to victimize you. It doesn't have to be actual petty theft. It could just be that somebody was in a petty ass mindset, Capricorn, when they decided to steal from you or to take from you or make you lose. Someone here could be 41. Someone here may have been born in 78. What else for the petty theft? Someone here wants to compromise with you or reach an agreement because now they could be facing jail time over. That's... I, Someone here could be 33. Someone here could be 56. Let me get into some tarot. Lord have mercy. All right, Capricorns. Let's, uh, whew. Now I understand why you're making some major changes. I absolutely understand it. You're making major changes. You're breaking away from this bullshit that, that somebody's been leading you through. have cut the grass in your yard and discovered there were snakes and you cleared those snakes out Capricorn I'm all for that all right Holy Spirit from my lovely Capricorn energies can you clarify making some major changes what's what else can you tell me yeah you may have felt like you lacked inner joy or happiness with this situation with the nine of cups reverse 
you know that somebody was greedy or possessive or maybe this is the energy that lack energy or someone who's greedy and possessive and this indeed may very well include a third party situation with the three of cups reverse somebody may have been gossiping this is you really recognizing that you needed to make some changes so that you can find your happiness because you may have been surrounded by a bunch of energies here or maybe one particular energy you know this could be a third party or just somebody you can't trust somebody who gossips a lot somebody who uh open indulges and partying and out of control this is like an out of control energy here this could very well be you too to be real with you not trying to bash you but this could be you like in the past just really understanding that the reason why you lacked inner joy it was maybe because of your greed or maybe you're overspending or maybe you just need to put things in order for yourself and you maybe you needed to let go of third party situations you know what i'm saying or third parties yeah justice you need to bring some balance to your life. You know what I'm saying? And you want equal and balanced relationships with the Six of Pentacles. Libra energy with the justice. So this tells me that you are now vetting out your relationships a little bit more with a, with a finer tooth comb. There we go. To make sure that they're equally balanced, that things are fair, that there's truth. I'm sorry, that there's truth and there's clarity. So that's really, 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 really good for you, Capricorn. Most definitely. Okay. Um, what, what What's going on with the dark web stolen goods yeah let's what's going on with that okay i'm hearing the theme song the cops in my head bad boys bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do when they come for you the chariot cancer energy this talks about moving on but this could also represent like cop cars coming to get somebody too but let me see here. I mean, there's a past resentment here with the Five of Swords reverse. Somebody did something in the past they really resent. And now they want to move on for it. So that could definitely represent that. What's the chariot about? For um, Capricorn, please. The world reverse. So you're moving on from an endless cycle here of somebody maybe doing something foolish. What's the world reverse? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody was juggling you. Maybe you're moving on from this um, disorganized energy who has a lack of balance, who is overwhelming you. What happened with the stolen goods? What's that about? Okay, we got the Eight of Wands in reverse. And then the Four of Swords in the upright. Queen of Cups in the reverse is at the bottom, which represents cancer energy. Someone who's insecure, jealous, um, codependent energy here. So there's a codependent energy here who felt like they were stuck or delayed or just frustrated because maybe you put things to rest with them. This is an, this could be a Sagittarius energy with the temperance in reverse or somebody who, like I said, is imbalanced, okay? Somebody who does things in excess, pushes themselves and others to extremes trying to get results. You know, they're impatient. This is a person that may have an alcohol addiction or just like something they indulge in to numb out pain. This is somebody who needs to realign themselves. So someone here, you put them to rest maybe because they're insecure, they're jealous. You know, they're not really trying to heal themselves. They keep repeating cycles and they're stuck. You cut their asses off, like lack of motivation, and then the page of pentacles reverse. This person may have commitment issues. So this person here, let's see, what did they steal, Holy Spirit, or what were they aiming to take? Someone here definitely had a hidden agenda. The high priest is in reverse with the two of freaking cups, Capricorn. You believe that mess? High priest is reverse. That's secrets, a hidden agenda, or someone who wants to cause harm. Um, someone who's selfish, shallow. Two of cups reverse, a broken relationship, distrust, disharmony, imbalance, tension. So somebody here was looking to break somebody up here. You're going to receive the truth about this with the ace of swords here. But somebody here was was looking to slice you guys in half. I mean, with this sword here, like somebody was trying to do that. But I mean, this is a true sword. You know, this is bullshit. So the truth is going to come out and cut through this bullshit, Capricorn. So you find out what's going on. But someone here was trying to take from a connection. Like someone here was trying to like manipulate a way for you to break up with someone. Or this is an energy that was aiming to steal from you because you broke up with them. You left them alone here. Um, what's the catfish about? Ooh, okay. We got the Seven of Wands in reverse, and then we got the Emperor in reverse. Aries energy. Um, this could be a masculine energy. Doesn't have to be. 
Um, Emperor in reverse, he's domineering, controlling, um, a tyrannical ruler, uh, stubborn, rigid, and reckless. And then the Seven of Wands reverse talks about being exhausted and giving up and like just being overwhelmed with things, your confidence being, confidence being destroyed. So someone here in this catfish energy, they did this mess because they were trying to maintain control over you. This is someone who's reckless. Someone here um, who is now probably giving up on this idea of trying to catfish you because they realize that, they, that they're exhausted. Or someone here may have been catfishing you to try to knock you off your throne and make you give up on what it is that you have planned for yourself here. Someone here was trying to make you frustrated and stuck. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me about the catfish energy for Capricorn? King of Cups reverse. I'm telling you, somebody here, um, they're, they were trying to man emotionally manipulate somebody through catfishing them, maybe. Or someone here, they're, um, they're moody. Um, they're a cheater. Someone really got in their feelings and they're out of balance here. Someone here is ruling with their emotions and ruling with their ego. And they decide to do this to you. This is a troubled energy here. Not a pentacles reverse, not a swords reverse. You set boundaries with them with the queen of swords here, Libra energy. You may have realized that this is somebody who doesn't want to put in the work. They just want to look good. That's what the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse can mean. Someone here has a false sense of success. Nine of Swords in Reverse. Somebody here um, has a lot of inner turmoils and secrets, deep-seated fears. So this is definitely somebody here who's out of balance, who got like a lot of like mental childhood wounding, you name it. God bless this child. But they wear a mask and maybe they pretend to be something that they're not. What else can you tell me about the catfish? Judgment in reverse. Their goal was to... Um, make you make a bad judgment call maybe and burden you with the ten of wands here the judgment card is uh in reverse is like self-doubt and resentment or make someone making a bad decision ten of swords in reverse and a knight of cups reverse somebody here wanted you to or maybe wanted your person to reject you or to turn down love or someone here yeah higher fence here Taurus energy somebody here wanted you to be rejected they wanted you to be rejected by somebody for you to reject somebody. Somebody here has betrayed you in a way they cannot come back from. And they are very moody about it. This somebody's jealousy may have caused this ending. <sighs> Goodness gracious. What is dealt with an undercover cop and a petty theft? Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody is some like somebody's going to jail. Or somebody's like the like it's like the it, this is like truth seeking energy, being assertive, you know, ambition, um, action oriented, fast thinking, defending your beliefs. So, so there is going to be fast communication to come in here, and then we got the six of swords that flew out with it, which tells me that someone here you're going to get communication, swift communication about somebody doing this to you, and you're going to be moving the hell away from them. The truth is coming for their ass. What's the knight of swords about? King of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Cups, and then we got the Lovers reversed at the bottom. Hmm. Somebody's receiving some, you're going to receive communication that somebody did this to you. They're going to receive bad luck for this mess. Will of Fortune reverse and Divine Interventions here with the, like, the, hold on, let me keep going here. Somebody here was trying to take from you because you are on your throne. King of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. That is like wealth, security, stability out of, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the authority, I mean, not the authority, the, um, the stable father, you know what I'm saying? Like stability, that is like your wealth and stability. And the Ten of Cups, that's your dream come true. That's like your happiness, your divine love and harmony. Somebody here was trying to take from that. They were absolutely trying to take from that. Someone knew you were going to have that. What's the Knight of Swords? 
Yeah, Ace of Cups, I'm not lying. Someone knew this is about love, okay? Um, what's the Ace of Cups and Knight of Swords? Someone here that you love may want to come and actually communicate this to you themselves. The King of Pentacles came right back out with the Page of Wands. Somebody's inspired. Or someone here has limitless potential, and it's going to lead them to wealth, business, uh, business leadership, um, security, discipline, abundance, prosperity, generosity. So somebody here wants to come, somebody's going to come through, and they're going to communicate a truth about being in love with somebody. They're being inspired now because they feel like they're on their throne. They've got all their stability together. Like, this may be an energy of somebody who really had to work hard to get their things together to make sure they were financially stable and everything to present you with a stable relationship. Someone here was trying to take away from that with the two of wands in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse and the full reverse. Somebody here was trying to make your person or make you be hesitant to come towards you and offer you this. Someone here um, wants you to have a fear of the unknown, a fear of change. Someone here wants you to play it safe and have a lack of planning here. Um, three of pentacles in reverse, that's group conflict, disharmony, a, leak, a, a lack of teamwork. So you may have definitely broken away from this energy, like I said before. Because of their drive. They lack, they, they lack drive. They lack motivation. They see you moving forward and they can't stand that. The full reverse. They don't want you to move the tower. This is a tower. They don't want you to move forward. This, someone here wants you to, to be held back. To, for you to be reckless with your new beginning. To make a bad choice. To take a risk that you shouldn't take that would lead to a tower. This could also spell out that somebody here that you have left behind they also may be experiencing a tower because they keep holding back they are indecisive because they are reckless and they make bad choices you know someone here was just trying to like do like a like it's like somebody was trying to lure you into like a south node energy so you would fuck up your opportunities capricorn that's what it seems like all right um what's um what's dealt with the undercover cop Page of Swords in the reverse. Somebody was de deceived. Somebody got manipulated. <laughs> What's the Page of Swords in reverse? Or this is or this is gossip about that? Yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody's pissed. Somebody's angry. They're frustrated. Um, this is a delay. Three of Wands in reverse. Someone here had a lack of planning, a lack of foresight, a uh, lack of planning, a lack of foresight, and now they're now they're experiencing unexpected delays and an obstacle to a long term goal. Yes, somebody here they they got deceived, and their little passion project is over. It's over, dude. Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's over. They missed an opportunity. They've lost this opportunity. This is a bad investment. Someone here worked hard on this too with the Eight of Pentacles here. Somebody really worked hard to keep somebody confused or not know which way to go with the Two of Swords in reverse. Like somebody really worked hard on this. They really worked hard on this. But Divine Intervention is here because the Sun is here with the Ten of Pentacles. So you straight and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're, you've manifested this. Sun, Leo Energy. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles upright divine intervention so this is your spirit team and this is like the divine correcting things balancing things out in your life ace of wands and the page of pentacles this is your manifesting this you're manifesting this new happy beginning your divine and divine intervention is here to manifest this for you you're going to have this joy this happiness this wealth this financial security you know your skills are going to improve you're going to be inspired to work on a new project you know things are definitely going to pick up for you because you are absolutely a superstar here um What's a superstar for Capricorn? Okay, you could be very creative with the Page of Cups here. The King of, fell on top of the King of Wands, which is like a natural leader, a visionary, so who also thinks of the bigger picture. So you're a superstar because you could be a natural leader. You're a visionary. You, you're an entrepreneur, maybe. You think of the big picture. You know how to overcome challenges. You know, you're very creative. You know, um, okay, that's a lot. What's the Page of Cups? Queen of Swords, Libra Energy. This is you setting boundaries, um, making unbiased judgments. You're independent, make, setting clear boundaries, direct communication, clear-minded, and being perceptive. So you're setting boundaries with people. You're setting boundaries with things that aim to keep you stuck. Um, death Reverse, Scorpio Energy. 
you're having a personal transformation and you're now setting boundaries before i mean like maybe you didn't set boundaries so much before but now you are okay let me get you um hold on i'm missing one i want to get into i still got a little time left i'm trying to make sure i don't go over on time because then my computer acts goofy okay holy spirit what else can you tell me here the lovers all right gemini energy okay so there's a partnership love harmony a relationship a union you could be coming into union with your soulmate or twin flame it does not have to be okay don't focus on the labels but there's a significant connection here with maybe surrounded by a lot of competition here with the five of wands maybe somebody um has unfinished business with you and maybe that's why there's so much conflict here at home with the four of wands reverse because someone fills out in the code with the five of pentacles upright So there's a connection here, uh, Capricorn, that is surrounded by a lot of conflict, a lot of competition, a lot of differing opinions, a lot of tension. And I think it's mainly because there's a lot of people around you guys, you or that person or both of y'all, you know, that, you know, have unfinished business or there could be emotional baggage, you know, surrounding this conflict. You know, someone here, they have a conflict with others. They feel like they have a lack of support. There could be conflict at home because maybe someone feels left out because you're going into union with somebody else. And they see you focused and determined to make your dreams come true with the star and the nine of pentacles here. Nine of pentacles is Virgo energy and the star is Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? So somebody could very well be seeing you make your, you know, work, focus on making your dreams come true. You're investing into yourself. Seven pentacles energy. You know, that you're thinking about the long-term view. I told you, you're a natural leader. You're a visionary. Um, you're putting in the hard work, you're persevering over challenges, you're diligent, you're um, seeing sustainable results, and you're investing. Like I said, you're investing into yourself because you're really, really much focused on this Ten of Cups right here. You're having a sudden awareness to choose happiness here with the Four of Cups reversing the Ten of Cups. You're choosing happiness in this situation and you're moving forward. And it seems as though the energies that are surrounding you, Capricorn, they absolutely cannot deal with you walking away. So they felt like they needed to do something to manipulate you to fucking be confused and stuck here with the Seven of Cups in reverse. That's the King of Swords reverse with the Eight of Cups. Someone here did not want you to have a victory. Someone here was in their ego and they manipulated the situation here. The magician reversed with the six of wands reversed. Somebody here is narcissistic, highly manipulative. Someone here was manipulating for you to have a failure or a loss. Or someone here, um, they're in their ego. They manipulated something because they have a lack of confidence and they're insecure. You know what I'm saying? And they feel discredited and they, have a la and they wanted some attention. So they did this shit. Lord have mercy. Okay, now let me get you some advice. Capricorn. <clears throat> the things that people do. Holy Spirit, for my lovely Capricorn energies. Can you please give some advice here for this situation? Okay, Capricorn, today you get four. Usually I do three. All right, listen. You're being asked to listen to your inner voice. It's been guiding you to do something or say something, and it's time to act on its wisdom. So Spirit is calling you to listen to your inner guidance, your intuition, your higher self, okay? Um, you know, um, it's been guiding you to do something or say something, and it may be time to do it, okay? Healing. Your body, mind, and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once, and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. So Spirit is calling on you to heal, okay? To accept your healing, okay? To accept that you're that you're in a period of deep healing, okay? And that you're going through transformations. So be patient with yourself, okay? Create. You're being asked to connect with your creative side in whatever way feels best. This part of you needs extra attention right now. It needs to be expressed in a bigger way. So, like I said, you could be a very creative energy here, and it may be time for you to amp it up, to ramp it up a bit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe time for you to to really, really, you know, step outside the box with your creativity and show the world what you can, what you got. Okay. Um, have faith. It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. Yet still, you must do exactly that. Because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. So Spirit is calling on you to have faith in your situation and in yourself. And, and you will see a positive outcome. Everything is going to be okay. And life is going to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. Okay. Um, 
Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the takeaway advice here for Capricorn? I'm going to get you a card from my African Goddess Rising deck. All right, let's see, Capricorn, what we got, okay? One card, please, Holy Spirit. All right. Capricorn, we got Gang Gang Sarah with Resistance. Okay, so you may be resisting something or, let's see. All right. Okay, um, it says you are scared that you are going to mess it all up. You may have stumbled, but this is a new day. Learn to show up for yourself. You ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic. Stop holding back, worrying, and pretending to seek perfection that will never come. When it comes to you stepping into your greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. Resistance blocks growth, creativity, and evolution. Resistance may look like procrastination, laziness, disorganization, excuses, or lack of motivation. But there are deeper forces at play. You are resisting the force that you really are. And her declaration says, this is me, I show up. So you might want to say that to yourself. This is me, I show up. So what I'm feeling here is that spirit is calling on you to show up for yourself. Okay, you may have, felt, you may have stumbled, felt like you failed. You know, you might want to give up on things. You may be holding back and you're resisting, you know, saying something that you are. Don't resist yourself, okay? All right, Capricorn. So I'm going to end your reading there. I really hope that resonated for you. And I really hope that you enjoyed it because I, as I always, enjoy reading for you. Please um, check out the other videos I have on the channel. I have playlists available for all the signs. You know, there may be a message into it there for you as well. Uh, and again, have a great Mother's Day. Love and hug on your loved ones. Okay, just really enjoy the day. God bless you guys. And I'm going to catch you in the next reading. Okay, bye.